this is, I guess, May's second poem. And I finished it, I'm going to say, on, in time for the 31st. And many of you know how happy that I've been with my relationship. It, it sort of coincided with the release of my film, totally unrelated. The film was finished four days later. And uh, I met Sam, and she met me, we met each other, I guess, but through Bumble, she reached out to me, and, oh, honey, am I so glad you did. Where would I be if you hadn't sent me that message? I wouldn't be as happy as I am, that's for sure, and I hope you're feeling good, and I hope you feel happy about this. So this is uh, May's second poem. I think it would be technically November or December's poem from last year, 2021. But, and I'm about uh, nine, ten days late for our anniversary, but better late than never, right? And I just, I just want to celebrate, call it as the title, Best Year Ever. I want to write about how this whole experience was such a miracle, from that potential first crossing at birth to our actual meeting almost 38 years later. Everything good in the universe had finally answered my prayers, so... I would write a hymn of praise, but my most recent difficulties have inspired a different approach. These troubles do not contradict the miracle. They make it so much more real and powerful. Having someone to share your victories makes them sweeter, but having someone to help shoulder the burden of your failures makes them so much lighter and helps you get back to the fight more quickly with more fire than ever. I didn't feel like writing until you held my hand and rubbed my back. Then I couldn't help starting. Bad luck ain't so bad with you by my side. And I hope you feel the same way. I'm far from perfect. So, so imperfect I couldn't even say perfect. But I promise you I will always be there to the best of my ability. I hope my ability never falls too short of your needs. I might not bat a thousand every time, but I'll come as close as I can. Find my way, there'll never be a dark cloud in your sky. But that's not realistic, and it damn sure ain't life. I hope I can fluff up those clouds and help those rotten moments be a little less bitter. Most of all, I hope you can see yourself as I do, perfect in your imperfections the exact temperature of baby bear's porridge, and eight million times as delicious. I want you to fully reach your potential and be the complete goddess you are. I don't mean potential as I see it. I mean it for you to be exactly who you want to be and realize your dreams completely. Each of us has to live that for ourselves, but we all need some help to do it. So you just let me know what I can do. I'd love to take you to Ecuador, and buy you a home, closer to home. I'd wilt in that steamy rainforest if, if left too long. My whole body would prune up like fingertip soap too long in the tub. But I'd be happy to dip my toes in that sauna for a brief honeymoon so we could both see your most favorite plants in the flesh. The winds of my destiny would have to bring me a substantial windfall if I'm ever going to put a roof over our heads. But I do believe tectonic shifts can happen. The Earth used to be one large landmass, after all. Pretty sure I can deliver the honeymoon someday, if I'm real careful. Most of my dreams for us are a bit mundane. I love the routine of seeing you often. My limitations mean that our time is usually home-based. That means we don't have many distractions brings me such comfort to have your companionship. I prefer quiet, steady reliability over busy adventures overflowing with strangers. I hope you never find it stale and that our routine brings an ease and comfort that will allow us both to learn and grow to become our best selves. I've got some ideas for us to work together, stage shows, and tours, the podcast, and maybe even a YouTube channel. These are not requirements. You will come to them in your own time, if and when they feel right. You help me so much and believe in me more completely than any of my other loves. Best of all, I know I can trust you, so I hope you know you can trust me. Thank you with every 
fiber of my being for the best year of my life. And I hope we can have many, many more.